are the big story today. The FBI agents arrest L.A. City Councilman Jose Huizar. Huizar has long been suspected in a corruption scandal. These are actually bundles of cash, just some of the bribes he is accused of accepting. Huizar now faces a federal racketeering case. NBC4's I-Team has been following the evolving City Hall scandal. And Eric Leonard is live with the very latest on that for us. Eric. Well, Colleen, federal prosecutors have described corruption inside L.A. City Hall as a cancer, a disease of elected officials who've allegedly ignored what's best for the public and instead have lined their pockets. The 116-page complaint against Jose Huizar is a first-ever racketeering case brought against a sitting elected official in L.A. And the U.S. Attorney for Southern California says this is one of the most significant public corruption cases ever. This is the first time a RICO charge has been used with respect to uh, the city council. As you can see from the extensive affidavit, the corruption alleged is on, was uh, longstanding, uh, encompassed many different projects, and involved a number of different individuals. The Fed say Weezar is the fifth to face charges in a large conspiracy and was referred to by the alleged conspirators as the boss, who's now accused of accepting one and a half million dollars in bribes and other enticements, like these bundles of cash the FBI seized from Weezar's closet. In exchange, Weezar is accused of pushing projects through approval, interfering with labor unions, and limiting demands for the number of affordable housing units that cost the developers profits. Another developer who made substantial contribution to the political action committees later bragged in an email to employees that Mr. Weizar helped them get the go-ahead for a 35-story building. That is this project in the Arts District, where construction began earlier this year. The developer didn't return our calls. The feds say no one who saw what was happening inside City Hall reported it. And it wasn't until someone in Las Vegas said they saw Weizar with a huge amount of casino chips, as seen in these security camera images in the case file, that the FBI got involved. And reveals a cast of characters who made decisions about Los Angeles Angeles city development on behalf of wealthy donors, regardless of what was in the best interest of its residents. He Weezar made his initial appearance in federal court just in the last couple of hours by video link. He's expected to be released from custody sometime this afternoon on a $100,000 bond and has been ordered to return to court next month to enter pleas to the charges, though in all likelihood he'll be indicted by a grand jury before that happens. Now, the L.A. City Council has voted to suspend Weezar. The council president says she's also begun the process of removing him from office. L.A.'s mayor said today Weezar violated the trust of the people and says the mayor has zero tolerance for criminal behavior and corruption. Reporting live, I'm investigative reporter Eric Leonard, NBC4 News. Back to you. Eric, thank you. In the